You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this. Which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Bigby. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. Please. Now. What the fuck is going on? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. anything. Fine. We, uh, found the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. Yeah, good. I've got questions for him. Well, we all do. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, were it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. 
just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. As I came down the I met a maid who asked my trade, and a sailor John said I. And away you sent he, my dear and need. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve it. It's a... hardly been used. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. Yeah. Help. Good. I didn't think you'd have any objections, of course, to this whole thing. Not with your history. But sometimes people surprise you. The Sheriff is here to carry out the rest of the interrogation. Oh, really? Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. <sighs> Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. I know you know something. And we can't let you go until you tell us exactly what that is. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this, Blue Dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. Why were you beating up Faith? She said something about that she'd asked who you were and then you just started hitting her. Something's not adding up for me here. Look, I got nothing to say, so just... Just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. What did you tell him? We must do whatever it takes to find the killer. I'm gonna make him talk, one way or another. Why did you beat up Faith? What's the reason? She was just a girl. There's... there's nothing going on. Ah! Oh, fucking Christ! I'm tied up here! Fuck! You want to tell me why you were hitting Faith now? I got a fucking temper, and I like to have a drink. And the stupid bitch didn't know who I was, alright? 
That doesn't mean I killed her. I didn't kill nobody. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Where's... where's my fucking stuff, anyway? I want to smoke. You, you took my smokes. We, uh, confiscated his belongings. For the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. What's that? You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good, long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. This is bullshit. It's not what you think. I don't... It's nothing, okay? Just leave it alone. Fucking horseshit. I didn't do anything. Where was Snow supposed to be? I didn't fucking say Snow, okay? I never... I never said that! Yes, you did. She, you snobbish ball of shit. She, I said. She should have never been there. I wasn't talking about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow. But who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? This has nothing to do with the fucking killings. I can't tell you shit. I told you fucking asshole! Get me out of this goddamn chair! Big B? It'll be hard to justify this level of brutality is all I want to point out. I know you're upset about Snow, but- I'll handle this. Woody? Who wasn't supposed to be there? The whore! And the rest of it is my own personal business, dog! So untie these straps and let me out! Just tell me, right now, what's going on? Alright, that's it. Faith! This pup here knows! Faith? This has to do with Faith? Someone else was supposed to show up and this bitch I don't even know comes over. Who were you expecting? No damned idea. What was the plan? Who's behind this? You're really enjoying this, aren't you, Wolf? Who did you want to show up, and why? What was this about? What were you up to? Faith shouldn't have been there? Who should have? It's not important. There's nothing wrong with easing up a little. He's more... Those fucking strengths. I can't feel my... <clears throat> Look, you goddamn chicken fuckers. I can't go nowhere, so... Why do I gotta be tied down, huh? It fucking hurts. I can't wait to catch you walking down a blind alley some night. Oh, man. I'm gonna have fucking dreams about that shit. Who were you expecting? Bigby, really, this has gone far enough. Who was it? Tell me. Lily. Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is... Uh, uh, Holly's sister. Holly? The bartender? From the Trip Trap. Her sister's... Yeah. Detective. Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. 
Lily usually comped me if I didn't have cash. Fucking bitch Faith didn't have any decency. So la -de fucking da congrats. You crack the case wide open, shithead. Sheriff, that is it, okay? I just... I have to put a stop to this. I warned you earlier and you haven't listened. And now it's just truly gone too far. The man has rights. His rights are on temporary leave. Bluebeard, that's enough now. <sighs> Snow deserves justice, Crane. You're not thinking of the bigger picture here. You never think out the ramifications for things. Beating information out of someone will simply never get the people aligned with us. I dare say this is the exact kind of infantile rashness that got Miss White killed. Fuck you! I only meant, you know. What's going on down here? What was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or, at least to figure out who she is. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. Snow? What is it? Are... are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened... I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. I don't think it's about you. There's something else going on here. Maybe. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? I'll figure this out. Don't worry. And what am I supposed to do? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Hmm. 
I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know. I can handle the kid. Okay. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Snow's perfume. That's enough. Uh, Mira, vanish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? The woodsman may be a good-for-nothing drunk, but that don't mean you can just whack him around because you feel like it. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. Are you... okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in. But but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Please tell the truth. Is there something else? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... 
I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> Did you see who it was? No. <laughs> Did you hear anything else? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there, and I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. <laughs> okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> you did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. Mirror, mirror, show me Lily. And yeah, I think this rhyming thing is silly. Some things cannot be revealed. Once again, these lips are sealed. Figures. Mirror, mirror, show me Holly the Troll, or uh, I'll throw you down a hole. No need for threats. Okay, Mirror, can you see... where the fuck is Tweedledee? Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of... scum. This is about deception or confusion, but for me, well, who knows? And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. So. Check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. 
Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. Are you gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. It looks just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh... Open her coat. Bigby, just let me do it. We're making progress. Let's see what else we can find. I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here, now that you're done punching people. What have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. silk lingerie snow why do you want to know I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact they're not
What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this, Nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions? I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Is that... It's your hair. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? With that tattoo, it's gotta be Holly's sister, Lily. The woodsman told me about her. You're right. She was reported missing, but I... Guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. 
All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. That true, love? Yes, it's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing, God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh God, I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was looking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. 
That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do? No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking up for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. What a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? <laughs> You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? She worked here? <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to turn the clients on. That's your job. You want them to feel happy. You want them to think you feel happy. Oh, it's. You want them to get sold. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished.
Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Ooh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> you just stopped in for the chips, then? Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. When did you hear about it? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamoured to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh. Black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then! We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh, no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Fuck up, Hans. I need to ask you a few questions. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans... We need to work on your communication skills, and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Unbelievable prick! Hey now!
Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Bloody come on, then. Prick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl's. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, I take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lock's been busted open. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. 
I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? You have legs. Not a glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... Wait here for a second. Seven? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh... You... I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. 
He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that... I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me! With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him, that's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- ah! Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! Is this you staying out of it? I thought I could trust you! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! Stop! 
everything! Jeez. She's my fucking what? Shit, Bigby. What have you done? What? What is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you don't want to see this. Shit. What is it? <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he marked this page because he likes the sight of a helpless person. It's about power for our Mr. Smith. He likes to be in control. What the hell? Like he can't deal with people when they're awake? That makes him some kind of crazy, insecure, deviant. Maybe he killed her just because she woke up. Jesus. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. So this 
Freak made that poor girl dress up like Snow White, then cut her head off. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Damn it, get it together, beauty. Be strong. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Hmm. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. Apparently, he enjoys helpless women. That's not going to bode well for anybody. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. of the dead girl? Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. 